Sora video has been leaked and the internet is cooking. Hello my friends, what the duck is going on? The model has been leaked, artists are super angry who feel used by OpenAI and I have a lot of e video examples to check out the Sora models. And sorry, if you think you can download the model or test it out yourself, of course they have taken it down right away. Let's get started. Check out this open letter posted on Hacking Face under PR Puppet Sora. What they are saying is we received access to Sora with the promise to be early testers, red teamers and creative partners. However, we believe instead we are being lured into art washing to tell the world that Sora is a useful tool for artists. Artists are not your unpaid R&D. We are not your free bug testers, PR puppets, training data, validation tokens. Hundreds of artists provide unpaid labor through bug testing, feedback, experimental work for the program for a 150 billion valued company, while hundreds contribute for free a select few will be chosen through a competition to have their Sora created films screened, offering minimal compensation, which pales in comparison to the substantial PR and marketing value OpenAI has received. See, the artists are super angry. They feel used by OpenAI, not getting good compensation for all the work they put in, having maybe gotten wrong promises about how this could influence their life or career or compensation. They are just angry about all that. And of course, I can understand that. Who would be happy about it? It's like investing a lot of time and then feeling used by a company who has a lot of money. So that is not great, of course. At the same time, I have to think that kind of like, isn't that what we are all doing right now? Not just in the open source community, but for all of these companies out there. And we are not just like using it and not getting paid. We're actually paying for that for these different services. For example, Mid Journey is not free. I like to use it. I'm not complaining about that, but I am, of course, paying for using it, giving feedback, and of course, sharing the images and showing people how it works, making free advertisement for them. So yeah, I don't know. It's that situation. And on the one side, personally for me, I think that is an important part of innovation that we come together, not just for the open source community, but at large also for businesses or for the whole community on either side to create that innovation and bring that forward so it can happen. But on the other side, of course, we have to always remind ourselves companies don't have our interest in mind, they have their interest in mind, because for them it is not just about money, it is more importantly about their investors, and the investors are pressing pretty hard. So what you can see often is that, for example, startups are just taking willy-nilly any kind of workflows they like and make them into their product. or start to use copyright on things that shouldn't be copyrighted and all kinds of other shady strategies to, of course, make their value bigger and cut out their niche from the market. So that is not great, but of course it is happening. And it is our part, of course, as these services to take sides and figure out what kind of service do you want to support and what kind of service is not so great or in what direction do we want AI to go because we do have an impact on these things as you've seen with the history of the internet. But now let's have a look at the videos that have been created by the leaked Sora model and have a lot of these videos into that here we have a look at what the model is you can see here it's a turbo model it's also a lighter model it's not the full model of course and here you can also see it has 30 frames duration simple compose and yeah it is just a lighter version but still Personally, I felt that the examples we can see are pretty impressive. So let's get to that. Let's start with this shot here from the ladies 
partying it up in the club, having some fun, taking some stuff, not sure what that is, but the dynamic between the characters is pretty cool, how they interact with each other. I don't see any kind of strange limbs going all around and the light also is very interesting. So I actually really like that shot. Here some strawberries in yogurt or is it chocolate or maybe melting ice cream. It's one of these fountains you sometimes find in hotels not a fan of that, kind of unhygienic, I think, but it looks pretty good here. And I like how everything is very consistent in here. And this kind of like dancing motion of these strawberries, also very nice, although not very realistic. I have this dog here, and I think you can see that a lot of these videos maybe come from the internet. That is a lot of social media content we see. But again, here the consistency is very nice. The dog doesn't have any strange limbs. The anatomy is right. The lighting is also very good. And how his fur is flapping in the wind is all very good. I'm impressed. Minecraft, that is actually pretty cool. We have seen in the past that an actual Minecraft game has been created by an AI without the game engine. Here it's just the video, but the consistency of all the elements in the video is impressive. And also look at the hand movement of the Minecraft character that actually looks like the running in the game. Very cool have this animation or video here that looks like a cutscene from a video game and I really like everything about that. The dynamic, the reflections in the background on the vector ground and the consistency of the character while the camera is moving around it is all pretty nice. Here we have a group of running men. There we have some mistakes in there. Some of the characters suddenly turn inside out and run backwards. But the main character with the white shirt in the middle is actually pretty impressive. How he runs, how the clothing moves. He looks a little bit like he's floating in the air. This kind of like maybe a little bit slow motion kind of thing, but not completely following the physics. But overall, I also love the lighting, the reflections from the wall. Very good scene. We have here a scene again. I feel like this could be right out of a video game as a cutscene. Very nice with this portal in the forest, the way he walks, very confident, hero like with this jacket he is wearing. The lighting is also again very nice. I really like that. Here we have a dog and this kind of ballet dancing ghost in the background. Again, I feel like the consistency in the video is very good. The dog is maybe moving a little bit strange in the way he jumps, but look at the dog having four legs all in the right position, not doing any strange things. The movement of the ghost cloak is also very good. And overall, the consistency of the room and the fire in the background is also nice. And again, also look at the reflections you get from that. Another scene that is kind of similar. In this case, we have a bit of a mistake. You can see here that this kind of dog is suddenly jumping out of the back. At the same time, it has a little bit more of crispness, but also of realism in there. So overall, I'm still pretty impressed with what we get, even though we have this kind of like strange ghost dog, but kind of cute at the same time is actually a video where I think, is it actually AI? I don't know because I don't see any mistakes in here. Maybe one mistake might be that the dog is jumping on these tree branches and the snow is not falling off. But other than that, isn't that pretty impressive how they both interact with each other? The motion is right. The legs are in the right position, doing the right things. Very impressive. To be honest, I would have thought this is a real video. Here we have the Nirvana baby kind of farting into the pool. Come on, baby. But what is really impressive here is when the hat is going through the surface of the water and you can see all these reflections of his head and body in the water. That is very nice. I'm actually pretty impressed by this video. Maybe a little bit less beans for the baby next time cat hunting for a mouse and it's a little bit strange with the movement gooey a little bit jelly like how the cat is moving so not quite sure about that 
But what I like about it is the face of the cat, how the cat is looking around. It is very good. The mouse is kind of vanishing at some point, but overall it's also very impressive. I have the spaghetti eating example. And I have to say with this, I'm actually the least impressed, not really a fan of that result. He isn't really eating the spaghetti. He has this kind of like tiny fork in the other hand and everything is not really coming together in a nice way, but it is a try. What can you say? And I was pretty impressed by this example here of the burning house, the smoke and how the fire climbs up the side of the house. I found that pretty impressive. Actually reminds me of that demo. Was that by Unreal Engine or Unity 3D? I can't quite remember, but this looks very stunning. Here we have a clip of why I love AI videos. This kind of strangeness, a thing you cannot do in real life. The cat sitting on a floating balloon, but at the same time being so real that you kind of feel like you're dreaming with your eyes open. I actually really enjoy clips like that with this kind of absurd, surreal quality to them here from Paris has me very impressed with the reflections on the ground. Look at the characters in the background, how they are walking and you see the walking on the wet ground rain reflections. This is pretty impressive. What I also like here is the details on her yellow raincoat, all these wrinkles and folds and how they stay consistent throughout the shot is pretty impressive. The next clip is this kind of like famous Coca-Cola advertisement with the ice bear baby. And it looks really interesting. Very nice. Even though the snow is going backwards in the background while the baby here is acting forward. So something is not quite right. But overall, the details, the lighting, the softness of the fur is still very nice and how he's holding that Coca-Cola can and how the can is actually also moving a little bit, even though at some point you can see that his paw is going through the can. I found also very impressive. I find like it looks very real with all the details, with the softness, has this kind of like a little bit analog, a little bit cinematic look. The only thing that I'm missing here is that there is no reflection of the teddy bear in the balloons behind him. But other than that, I could be fooled by that video to think it's real. Last but not least, we have this scene that is similar to what we have seen when Sora was first announced. It's kind of like a recreation of that. And the details are still very stunning. The consistency of the characters of her clothing, especially also when she's coming close to the camera. Look at the finger, look at the long fingernails that she's having. Everything is coming together in a nice way. And again, look at the reflections of the people walking in the background and all the lights. Very impressive. It's clear that at the same time, OpenAI has a winner with the model, which looks stunning but also lost a lot of credibility with how they treat the artists who help them interact with them. I hope they find a good solution. I hope nobody is going to jail for that, even though this is a pretty serious situation. I don't know. I hope it finds a happy end and be curious, but also be cautious about what is going on in the AI world, because not every actor is a good actor out there. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.